So here we are again on another chapter of this Frankenstein EFI. And this video is going to be a little shorter. It proves that failure is always an option. Greetings, fellow DIYer, and welcome to my video. Previously on Days Cars 393 Windsor Build. Open Plenium's. Because Open Plenium and an Open Plenium Manifold. An Open Plenium Manifold is with an Open Plenium. To make the Open Plenium at the top, this creates a beautiful Open Plenium. The problem is that's an awfully large Open Plenium. And we all know that Open Plenium's can be hard on low end torque. So after I shot that first EFI video in this 393 Windsor build series, a bunch of you were kind enough to tell me that the word is plenum, not plenium. That's my bad. I've thought it was plenium my entire life and old habits die hard, as is proven in the most recent video that I shot. Multiple times I used the word plenium instead of plenum. When I'm monologuing and describing to you what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, those kind of things, I'm shooting from the cuff. None of this is scripted. None of this is rehearsed. I'm just sitting down with the camera and talking. It's a lot harder than you would think. And in a case like this, old habits die hard. I knew it was plenum. And yet here I am talking about using that square tubing and I use plenium instead of plenum. Thanks for keeping me honest. If other things like that pop up, let me know. I am not perfect. I strive to have a quality channel with quality information, and sometimes things are going to slip through the cracks. So here we are again on another chapter of this Frankenstein EFI. And this video is gonna be a little shorter. It proves that failure is always an option. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In my previous video, I spoke of plan A, and that was to simply take the upper from a 351 Windsor truck intake, cut the bottom off of said upper, then take that piece that I cut off, put it in the mill, true it up, and then weld a piece of flat aluminum to the top so that I had a mounting point for these throttle bodies. I did just that. And as you can see, I have this really nice riser that could be used to adapt to those throttle bodies. The problem is height is my number one concern with this entire build. If I wasn't already worried about hood clearance, I would have made this about two inches tall I would have welded a piece of three quarter right to the top, and then I would have used a quarter inch plate on top of that so that I could have an open plenum in here and still have it sealed to the throttle bodies. In order to do all that in under two inches, I would have to cut openings in this to match this so that this sits as low as possible on this piece that I machined. And while that's a viable option, that's a lot of work to not really gain anything. I realized after spending the better part of the day yesterday working on this, that because of my height constraints, what I thought was gonna be a fairly easy solution is actually doing it the hard way. So we are now going to go with plan A.1. I'm not gonna use this piece. I'm also not gonna get rid of this because who knows what DIY project I will have down the road. My new plan is to fabricate everything from scratch. This is a piece of inch and three quarter aluminum. And I am going to machine these holes, just like in this riser, into this piece of aluminum they will be the full inch and one quarter depth. Then I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to machine out one quarter inch 
for an open plenum. And then this piece of three quarter aluminum will fit on the top and it will have the holes for the throttle body on the top. And then on the bottom, I will machine out a half inch open plenum. I think that will give me the customization that I want. It's going to keep me at that two inch height that I am stuck at. And overall, it should work really well. So while there's not a lot going on on this video, you can see that I was able to get some done with plan A. Plan A didn't work. We're going to move on. And that's what I promised in this video series. If something goes right, I'm going to show it. If something doesn't work, I'm going to show that too. So stay tuned. Hopefully the next video in the series will show the machining of these two pieces so that my throttle bodies can get attached to the top and we can keep that nice low profile. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.